How's it going everybody? NBG here and I have a bit of an idea. It's called Skyrim Survival. So what is Skyrim Survival exactly? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. You have to survive the harsh land of Skyrim by doing no quests and you're not allowed to attack uh, bandit camps. It's, it's actually really more of a realistic, uh, I guess, uh, approach to this game. So, you have rules and you have goals. Okay, so let's just let's just worry about the goals for now. So, our first goal is to accumulate ten thousand gold by not doing any quests, by not attacking any bandit camps or going in deep ruins. Because in real life, you wouldn't be doing that. Let's be honest now. You need to be smart to survive, and going on a uh, five versus one bandit fight, that's not smart, that's not realistic. I'm not saying that's not a cool mechanic of the game, but the approach I want to make with this custom survival mode is to survive. Now, you're not allowed to use any spells and or potions for your health either, which makes everything more difficult. So, there's a whole ton of rules I'm coming up with. But uh, goal number two is you must buy a house in Whiterun and fully upgrade it. So you need 6,800 gold. Alright? And then, you still need 10,000 gold to complete your first goal. So your third goal is, you must kill a dragon. Now what makes this difficult is that you're not allowed to use anything but a bow and a dagger. Okay? Those are realistic hunting tools. You know, daggers for skinning and gutting the whatever you killed, and the bow is for the hunting part. You're a hunter, you're not a warrior. You're not a knight, so you won't be running around with maces and swords or shields, okay? And goal number four, you must visit all nine holds, okay? That includes Solitude and Riften, okay? And here's the catch. You're not allowed to fast travel, and you're not allowed to use couriers. You can, however, buy a horse, but they are not cheap, and that would take away from your 10,000 gold goal. Okay? So those are your goals. Doesn't sound too hard, right? Well, here's the rules. You must eat and drink once every 24 hours. If you don't, you automatically lose. So this is an honor system, obviously. There's nothing saying that you can't, but uh, you know, if you want to be honest and play the game correctly, then um, you know, be honest about it. So eat and drink. Your food must be cooked, and your drinks cannot be potions. They need to be wines. Or whatever, you know, isn't a potion. It has to be some sort of drink. Okay, um... Rule number three, I guess, would be next. Um, you're not allowed to use spells at all. How you can, however, use powers, such as night vision, or whatever race you decide to choose has. Okay? You can use those. You're not allowed to use shouts, either. Uh, fourth rule, you may use poisons and potions. I actually encourage alchemy. Um, you can use that, but that does not count towards your drink and food for that day, for that day. Uh, rule number five, you have to sleep every 24 hours. Your sleep has to be a minimum of four hours or a maximum of 10 hours. Doesn't matter if it's an own bed or someone else's bed, doesn't matter. Rule number six, uh, I already said this, potions do not count as a drink. Okay, rule number seven, you are not allowed to attack bandits, necromancers, etc., drugger, uh, skeletons. You can't attack what you normally would in real life, uh, or what you normally wouldn't in real life, I guess. If it, Let's just say druggers are real. All right, you're a hunter. You're trying to survive. You're, you need to be smart. You're not going to attack something that's twice your size or your number, okay? So be smart about it. Um, you know, like I said, it's the whole honor system thing. You're trying to survive off the land, and druggers, you're being smart. You don't want to get into a fight you can't get out of. Rule number eight, you're only allowed to carry a bow and a dagger. You are not allowed to carry swords unless you find swords in a chest or something, all right? You can sell them, but you're not allowed to use them because you're a hunter. You're not a knight. You're not trained to do all that. You're allowed to use archery and a dagger, which I don't even have yet. That's how poor and horrible I am at doing this so far. So number nine, you are allowed to explore caves, but like I said, you are not allowed to attack. You're a defensive survivalist. You're not an offensive knight, you know? You're not a Spartan. So, rule number ten, 
you must play as an archer, like I said. Uh, that means no being a, a ninja with a dagger. Alright. Rule number 11. Uh, actually, this isn't a rule. I'm just letting you know that you can use alchemy. Rule number 12. You must play the game up until the point where dragons spawn. So you can play the game normally, like, once you uh, once you leave Helgen. You know, you go about doing the white run quests. And once you kill the first dragon, you go back and turn in the quest. And then he tells you to go to the Greybeards. Once he tells you to go to the Greybeards, stop. Okay? No more. Go back to the Guardian Stones. Drop off anything that... Um, drop off anything that has to do with... You know, that doesn't follow the rules, I guess. And uh, drop all your money. And that's where you start. So that the dragons will spawn. So, like I said, they're one of your goals. You need to kill them in order to complete the Skyrim survival. You need to kill at least one dragon. Okay. Rule number 13. You are not allowed to use fast travel or couriers, but you may buy a horse. Rule number 14. You are not allowed to wait. Okay, so you're not allowed to just sit here and wait. You're not allowed to do that. You can sleep, but you can't wait. You are not allowed to complete any quests, unless they're quests that are realistic. Like, um, I don't know how to, I don't want to say realistic, but like uh, turn in 10 bear pelts. Okay, that's that's a good quest, but don't. Uh, you know, retrieve some magical orb and do a danger crime. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such so, a thing has not um, happened for hundreds of years. Rule number 16, you are not allowed to have any followers at all. That includes Feindel, Lydia, Sven, etc., etc. Uh, dogs, however, you can have. Dogs are okay. You are not allowed to die. Okay, death equals end game, but obviously there's nothing to enforce that. And nobody wants to, you know, die. But as for this YouTube thing I'm doing, if I die, that marks the end of the Skyrim Survival series that I'll be doing. And if I complete it, that will obviously also mark the end. So, secondly, uh, or eight, eighteenthly, <laughs> um, you must play on Adept or higher. Okay? So, Adept difficulty or higher. Adept's good. <laughs> like I said, you're not allowed to... Uh, attack enemies so that means you won't be having a lot of arrows money and everything is going to be scarce which means you're not going to be able to buy arrows so it's going to be arrows are going to be scarce that's probably my biggest uh, scare right now okay so uh, tips I came up for myself uh, since I'm going to be playing as an archer type character I'm going to want sneak attacks and uh, light armor is the best for archer type characters stamina regenerates faster you move quicker less likely to be seen when sneaking I'm going to choose light armor instead of heavy armor. Uh, another tip I came up for myself. Uh, don't engage yourself with enemies that can easily kill you. Such as giants, dragons, mammoths. Especially with iron arrows and a longbow. And next to no alchemy knowledge. So a lot of experimenting that's going to be happening in this series. And um, this is, how, is not a how-to guide or tip or anything. This is me just trying to survive. Which is going to be difficult because I've never tried it before in this game. So, um, tip number three for myself, don't be afraid to run away <laughs> from combat. If I see a bunch of bandits and they just start ambushing me, I'm out of there. A dagger and an arrow is not going to save me from three enemies with a freaking battle axe, alright? I'm out of there. Like I said, when I die, the series is over. So, rule number four, or tip number four for myself. Uh, I'm going to do my research on alchemy. Watch some major slack videos, um wiki up that stuff gotta learn some of the recipes look at that bird look at that bird in that tree right there I've never seen that before see that bird look at that it's a bird wing I've never seen that before it's like inside the tree interesting anyways back on track don't forget the five finger discount that's another tip you can thieve but if you get caught and you don't have a lot of gold, which means you can't pay off the guards, which means you'll be in jail. Number seven. Find an empty empty camp or ruin with a bed and chest for or for me to hide out. Uh, reason being, inns cost ten gold. Ten gold doesn't sound like a lot to your everyday dragonborn, but um, I'm not dragonborn. I'm an escaped convict, and I uh, have nothing but uh, the clothing on my back and a few arrows. So I'm not going to be wasting my money in ends. I'm going to try and find camps. Um, and that's about it.
really. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Like I said, we're going to be hunting a lot. We're selling. We need to eat. We need to drink. We need to sleep. And our videos are going to be separated by days. So it could be anywhere from like, you know, however long an in-game day is. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe, uh, is it, I'm trying to remember. I think one hour in real life is 30 in-game hours. That's what it is for Oblivion, anyways, I believe. So one hour in real life is 30 hours in-game. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, so the videos are going to be a bit longer. Um, and this is going to be strict survival. There's going to be no quest. There's going to be no shouts. There's going to be no... It's going to be a lot less of your normal Skyrim stuff. It's going to be a lot more of me surviving the land. So it's going to be tough. So what are my thoughts on this so far? My thoughts on this is finding food isn't going to be hard because um, you could find a lot of fish. But the problem is cooking them. You need a salt pile, I believe. Which means I'm going to need to buy it. Because salt pile isn't necessarily everything you could just... Oh, there's salt pile around that rock, you know. It's usually found in civilization, uh, whether that be a bandit camp or a white run. So I'm gonna have to think of how to get that without getting killed or caught or wasting money. Um, also, arrows are gonna be a bitch to find since we won't be killing. Uh, sneak is going to be one of my top priorities. Archery skills. This is gonna be fun. So if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment and. Um, Skyrim Survival Day 1 will be complete in the next upcoming video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoy.